I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. <laughs> okay, all right. All right. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie. Welcome. Today, I'm so nervous. I'm doing something that I never ever thought I would do and I'm just blaming it on the quarantine. I am about to wax my brows. I have been home and my brows are really starting to piss me off. Like the one thing that I love like and that I'm really picky about are my brows and they are out of control to me and I need to deal with them. So I did some research on Amazon. I purchased myself a little at-home waxing kit and now I'm about to come on here and wax my brows for the first time with y'all. But before we jump in, please do make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also make sure you hit the notification bell if you wanna get a notification every single time a new crazy video drops. <sighs> All right, we're doing this. We're really, really doing this. Let's go. Let me jump in and show you guys the at-home waxing kit that I found on Amazon. All right, so this is the set that I purchased from Amazon. So this whole entire thing, it came for 40 bucks, which I thought was like really, really affordable. So it comes with this warmer hair. It comes with four of these different wax beads. They're all different colors. It comes with a set of gloves, or I think it's more than a set in here actually. And then it comes with popsicle sticks. So it has like the large and the small depending on the type of body part that you're waxing. And then it also comes with these two. So one is a pre-wax treatment and one is an after-wax treatment. So this green one here is the pre-wax. It says it has tea tree oil in it and it's meant to just be very antiseptic and just clean the area before you wax it. So then the after-wax treatment has lavender oil in it which is meant to provide added benefit of antiseptic qualities again. So again, cleaning those pores because once you wax your pores are like super open. And then that lavender oil will also help to reduce the level of inflammation. All right, so these are all the waxes here. As you can see, they're kind of like all different colors, which means that they're meant for like different types of hair or like different parts of your body. So there's black, white, blue, and pink. Now, the thing that I kind of didn't really like is that it doesn't really tell you on the back which part of your skin it's meant for, which I kind of wish it did, but they do have descriptions on Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and read those out for y'all. So first they said that this pink one is meant for sensitive skin and also like coarser hair. So when I think of that, I'm thinking about the bikini area. It also says that with this pink one, you won't get any bumps or redness. So apparently the blue one is meant for your full body, so all over use, and it apparently also has this fast cooling formula. So it should cool quicker on your skin and allow you, I guess, to wax a little bit quicker. Then it looks like this white one is actually formulated specifically for brows. So they say that it has their most elastic formula and it's meant to target more thin hairs. And then the black one is meant to be used with really thick, coarse, stubborn hair. This black one seems like very hardcore, not gonna lie, kinda scares me, probably won't use it, but that's what it's here for. All right, so that's everything that comes in the kit. If you guys are interested in reading up a little bit more about it, if you wanna shop, check it out a little bit more, I will definitely put a link so that you can see it in the description box below. I really don't know how much to put, but this is what I'm gonna do. So I actually forgot to mention that it does come with these set of instructions, which I'm so thankful for because I've never used anything like this in my life before. So we want to open this, check it out, and see how hot we gotta set this to get it to melt. So this literally got everything in here, so I 100% recommend, like if you're gonna do this, make sure you sit down and read all of this through before you actually start waxing. So it says for fastest warming, just put it up to the highest temperature, which is 240, so I'm about to do that. And then also to stick this cap on, because I don't wanna be here all day. All right, so while the wax is warming, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my brows. Now this is where, I'm gonna be doing all the precautions because I refuse to over wax my brows. So first I'm gonna start by applying that pre-wax treatment, the one with tea tree oil. I do have moisturizer on my face right now. So that is basically just gonna kind of like wipe away some of the oils from the moisturizer so that the skin is like properly nice and prepped for the wax. If my hairs are super oily, the wax is not gonna adhere to the hairs and then it's just not gonna pull the hairs out. So it's a really, really important step to make sure that you're prepping the area properly. You know what? Let's get a little zoomed in so y'all can see all the action. Woo! All right, we are up close and personal. Oh, as y'all can see, I also don't have any makeup on, not even a little bit right now. That's another important step in prepping the area, prepping your skin for waxing. My brows are like kind of weird 
because when they grow out they look more sparse and then once they're waxed they look thicker I don't know how that works but that's just how it works so you guys can see like under here I've got lots of extra growth here extra growth here and then above I also have like a slightly hairy forehead so I'm actually gonna even kind of go as far as like up here to kind of wax all of that as well but here is the little before shot hopefully I don't wax the whole thing off oh and I also got Bay here for moral support say hi <laughs> because I can't do this alone. Next up, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of powder. Now I saw all the girls using like baby powder or whatever. I was this close to leaving the house to go and pick some up because I don't have any at home. But then I remember that I actually have translucent powder. So I'm gonna use that. I kind of just wanted to use what I have at home because y'all know this is serious. And I don't wanna go out on the road just for some baby powder, you know what I mean? So, and translucent powder will work in the same way. So basically, this is me prepping the skin again and trying to remove any excess oils and anything, just sop it all up from my hairs to make sure that the wax is gonna grab the hairs properly. I'm nervous, like I feel like I'm out of breath. I'm so nervous. Okay, anyways, move around along. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and use a spoolie and kinda just brush my hairs in their natural direction that they grow in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Fenty Fly Liner Pencil. This is an eyeliner pencil. This is the white shade, I think it's called Chrome Wrecker. So I'm mapping out the inside of the brow, the arch, and then the outside of the brow. I saw one girl do this. I will tag her video in the description box below if you wanna check out her video as well. But I found this super useful, and so I'm gonna do the same thing. So basically, you grab your little white pencil. The reason for white is because it's gonna show up bright, and so you'll be able to see it. Um, but so you see this ridge of your nose here, so not like the end, but like this little middle piece. You're just gonna place the eyeliner there or whatever you're using. And then, boop, there is your mapping for the inside of your brow. So you should not wax any further out beyond this line. So same kind of concept, you're still keeping the pencil in this little notch of your nose here, and then you're just gonna aim it through like the middle of your eye. So right here is gonna be the tip of my arch. All right, and then for the end of your brow, you're gonna move the pen from here to the end of your nose and then aim it right at the outside of your eye and boom, there is the mark. So you don't want your eyebrow to be any shorter than that. Clearly, you can see that my eyebrow needs to do some growing. So I'm really going to be careful about like how much I'm waxing in this area because I'm trying to grow out my brow so it has a little bit more length this way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other brow. All right, so now that we got all of our mapping points, I'm gonna go ahead and finish drawing out the outline of both of my brows. And basically, we're not gonna wax any hairs that are inside of the outline. All right, so I feel like this looks pretty good. They're as even as I'm gonna get them, I think. I'm nervous. I'm just like sitting here telling myself in my head like, you know, hair grows back, it'll be fine. Like, you're not gonna mess up. And if you do, it'll grow back. It'll be fine. <laughs> my arm is sweating. All right, so now that our eyebrows are mapped, they're prepped, they're ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and check on this wax. You wanna make sure that it's not too hot. That's very important. And because this is my first time, I'm gonna make sure that I'm testing this on my wrist every time, because I do not want to burn my skin. Your face, the skin on your face is like the most sensitive. So you don't want to get any burn marks from wax that is a little bit too hot or anything like that. So you gotta be very, very, very careful. All right, we are melted and ready to go. So when you're getting ready to wax, you wanna make sure you turn it back down. So this says to lower the setting to between 160 and 180. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in the middle there. One way to tell that the wax is too hot is if it's like really, really watery don't put that on your skin, okay? You want it to have like a sticky, kind of thick kind of texture without it being too cool at the same time. So it can't be too hot, it can't be too cool. It's really a trial and error process, but I'm definitely gonna make sure that each time I'm testing like the temperature of the wax on my wrist first to make sure that it is a good temperature. All right, so I think I'm gonna actually start by waxing at the top of my brows first. So because of that, I'm gonna brush these hairs down. You know what, I'm gonna start in a really easy place and I'm just gonna wax the little hairs that like don't really even exist right here. We're just gonna do like a little test wax there because you can't mess up right there. So 
I'm grabbing my little stick. Got a little bit of wax on here. <sighs> All right, let's do this. All right, so when you're applying wax, you're gonna wanna make sure to apply the wax in the direction that the hair grows. So right here in the middle, it grows upwards, so I've applied it going upwards. And then when you are ripping the hair off, you rip it off in the opposite direction. So this wax definitely dries pretty quickly within about like 30 seconds or less, I would say. You can touch it up and see that it's like completely hard. Flicking up the end so I can get like a good hold. And then, boom. All right, let's do this. So I'm gonna just put a little bit at the top. Okay, ready, set. Ah! Sorry, I didn't mean to scream. It's the dryness check. We're ready to go. Ready to rip. This is honestly the most painful part, trying to flick up the end so you can get a good hold. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Ready? Set, go. Mm. All right, yes, yes, I got a good amount of hairs. Yes, this is doing pretty good. This is really getting all of like the super little fine, thin, peachy, fuzzy kind of hairs that I have up here and like on my entire forehead really. But I like the fact that it's picking up those teeny tiny hairs. Mm, this side, oh my god, that always hurts so bad, but damn, it's getting all the hairs. It's getting all the hairs. So I'm really just taking my time and doing bit by bit, slowly but surely, to make sure that we don't mess anything up. Okay, see this one? I kind of applied it bad because on this end, I'm trying to flick it up and push it back up that way, but because I applied it thick here and then thin on the edge, it's like impossible for me to get a good hold of the wax at the end. So I'm just having to continue flicking it up, which is so painful. So that's a tip right there. Make sure when you're applying it, it's thick all the way through and then it'll be easier to just kind of pick it up and rip it off. There we go. There we go. All right, so here is like a super, super close up of what my skin is looking like. It's clearly red, but I feel like that's to be expected. It doesn't like sting or anything. It's just red because it's a wax. Um, but can y'all see the difference of like this peach fuzz, all that peach fuzz there, and then boom, she gone. This is drying up on me a little bit again, so I'm heating it up a little bit. Again, it's just that trial and error process, but you need to make sure that the wax is like at the perfect consistency and temperature every single time. Yes, ah, oh, this is getting all of the peach hairs. I love it. The peach fuzz hairs, all of the peach fuzz is gone. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> that one hurt, wow. I just get so satisfied seeing the hairs in this thing. It's great, it's great. All right, so I think we're kind of done for the top half. I look really crazy right now, it is so red, but it'll go down, it'll go down later. So now that I'm gonna do the bottom parts of my eyebrows, I'm gonna go ahead and brush my eyebrow hairs upwards. If you have super curly eyelashes, beware of that as well. Be really, 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 really careful with this. Okay, I'm gonna pull the skin really tight. All right, so here is a close up. 
see that I pretty much got like all of the hairs that I wanted to get. So I'm just gonna go in with the after wax treatment, which is gonna wipe off everything. And then we're really gonna see how my brows look. I'm nervous, but let's do it. They just look a little different than they used to look. It looks a little short. <laughs> They're not bad. They're not. All right. So here we are. Here's a little close up of how they look. Honestly, I feel like they're not too bad. They're a little bit different than how they would look if the esthetician does it. Um, but they're clean. Like they're a lot cleaner than they were and I really, I'm really not too mad. So honestly for this brow, I think I, I want a little bit, a little bit thin here on this little edge. So I'm gonna have to like, you know, be drawing that in with a pencil. But otherwise, I always draw my eyebrows anyway. So for it to just be a little bit cleaner really helps your girl out. I'm kind of glad I did it my first time. Do I think that I would continue doing it? I don't know. I want to see how my brows continue to grow out to see like, I don't know, like did I jack them up? I'm like, I'm really honestly not even 100% sure yet. <laughs> Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I will keep you guys updated on my stories there as my brows continue to grow back out. Like I honestly, I'm not mad at them. I really hope that you guys found this useful, I guess somewhat, and maybe just entertaining. If you did enjoy this, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will love y'all forever. If you guys have any additional questions for me, go ahead and comment them below. I will do my best to get to every single question. Before you leave, two more videos here for you to check out. Just binge, it's fine. I won't judge. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye.